Hi, good evening everyone. So today, uh, welcome to another session of COD PJ Economics Questions. And what I want to go ahead and do in today's session is to do some past year questions of BHU MA Economics paper. All of you know that BHU is now a part of uh, the CVT exam. So, uh, you know, this is, this is going to be a good practice to see the kind of questions that will come in CVT PG Economics paper. Okay, beta. Achha, ek aur cheez, before we go ahead, uh, we are very, very soon launching a test or oblique question bank. I will be sharing all the details with you in the upcoming lectures. Question bank me kya hoga? Question bank will consist of CUT subject based, topic based questions. So, hmm. what do I mean by CUT subject based, topic based questions? Is me kya hoga na that? For example, if I talk about the subject, you will have topic wise questions also. So, consumer theory, sari questions. Then, welfare theory, sari questions. Producer theory, sari questions. Like that, topic wise also. And all these questions will be recorded. So, ye nahi hai ki sirf aapko question NCQ form mein de di aur uska options de di No, these will, this entire question bank is a recorded question bank. So, her question ki, I am giving complete explanation in the recorded format. And students who have already enrolled with us, ya CUT batch ke liye, ya MA Economics batch ke liye, those students will get this at no cost. Unke liye absolutely free hai. And for other students also, we are launching it at a very nominal fee. Right, beta? So, iske details, sari, mein aapko aane wale sessions mein deti raungi. Or if you have details, leni hai ya iske le enroll karna hai. So you can also contact us at 836866395. Right? Okay. So this is our number. Ha beta. Theek hai. So ye bahut bada ek proper recorded test bank ban raha hai, which is going to be very useful for your CVT exam. Okay, beta. Question start karte hain. So, I am starting with BHU past year question. Read the first question. Other things remaining the same when an entrepreneur's money outlay increases, his equilibrium point moves to. So, take some try time, try to think about this. Kya bol rahe hum? Entrepreneur's money outlay increases. Mane? Mane he has more money with him. So, beta, dhyan se dekhna hai. How is an equilibrium Attained. This is an equilibrium. This is my output. Suppose my 100 units produce karna chaati hu. This is my ISO cost line. And what will happen? Well, what happens is that when you ye equilibrium ho diya na hone. अगर equilibrium word use नहीं होता, तो ISO quant पे कुछ फरक नहीं पड़ता, right? But because now we have used the word equilibrium, it means that I can incur more cost because I have more money with me. तो मेरा budget बढ़ गया है, I can incur more cost. But what is the equation of ISO cost? W1 x1 plus W2 x2 is equal to C. So now when I have more money, तो क्या होगा? I can incur more cost. So my ISO cost can shift outwards. So which is the highest ISO quant I can reach? Zada output ban sakta hai. I can reach a higher ISO quant. So it means that my equilibrium point will move outwards. Isn't it? I will be able to produce more because now I have more money with me. So what should be the answer to this question? A higher ISO quant. So answer of the first question is going to be 1. Clear hui baat? But uh, equilibrium ki baat ki gai hai. So equilibrium automatically tangency condition se aata hai. 
What is tangency condition? Where your slope of isocon is equal to slope of isocost. है ना? तो ये equilibrium point upward shift हो गया ना? So we are moving towards a higher isocon. Is that clear? Okay, better. Come to the next question. Try to think about this yourself. In the production process, the input combination has 30% fixed acid, 40% raw material, 10% labor. These are excellent questions. CUT ke liye, huh? So try to do them good in a nice way. The quantity of all other inputs except the fixed cost has been doubled. The production process would be subjected to. Let us try to understand this. Huh? Deko. Because suppose I am saying my production is a function of fixed assets, raw material and labor. Ab, if I was able to scale all the inputs, if I can scale input ko scale kar paati, like this, it would have been a long run concept. I were able to scale all the inputs it would have been a long run concept and in the long run we always talk about returns to scale we always talk about returns to scale but am I able to change all the inputs now I cannot change fixed assets except fixed assets so I cannot scale this. So if I cannot scale this, so what would this be? It would be a short run concept. So it is going to become a short run concept. But a short run concept may kyote. Marginal product diminishes. So, as you increase the input, the output increases, of course, but at a diminishing rate. Hello? So, output increases as a, at a diminishing rate. What is that called? Law of variable proportion. So, what will be the answer? 2. Answer will be law of variable proportion. Is that clear? Okay, come to the next question, beta. Question number three. Try to think about this one. Average variable cost curve. Which of the following options is correct? So, so, sir. Try to answer it in the chat window. But hmm? average variable cost curve, kaise banti hai? Like this. This is ABC. So, what happens? It is first decreasing then increasing so kya answer ho gaya? slope downward at first and then upward so the correct answer will be 3 clear me about huh? Achha, what about AFC but AFC looks like this sometimes they ask you what is the shape of AFC so yaad rakhni baat hai ye, that this is rectangular Hyperbola. So the shape of AFC is rectangular hyperbola. Is that clear to everyone? Okay. Now we are going to go ahead and we will take the next question. Let's read this down. The vertical distance between PVC and TC is equal to. Very simple. What simple question is. So but what is total cost? Total cost is total variable cost plus total fixed cost. So what will be total fixed cost? Total cost minus total variable cost. So the distance between the two, that is nothing but total fixed cost. Achha, isko ek bari, let's see diagrammatically also. Huh? So, with a total cost function or total variable ko aise bana dete total cost ko aise bana dete huh? ye jo gap hai the gap between the two 
इसको ना यू हैव टू कीप सेम बिकॉज टी एफ सी इज कॉन्स्टेंट टी एफ सी इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो यू हैव टू कीप दिस गैप सेम हा एंड दिस गैप इज नथिंग बट टी एफ सी एट्स द डायग्राम पॉइंट ओके फाइन बेटा अच्छा वन मोर थिंग हियर लेट मी जस्ट फोकस ऑन दैट थिंग सी सपोज बेटा आई हैव दिस कर ये मेरा कर टी एफ टी बी सी हो गया ये टी एफ सी आई हैव टेकन क्वॉंटिटी हियर एंड आई हैव टेकन टी सी एंड टी बी सी एंड टी एफ सी हियर कॉस्ट यहां की हा बट टेल मी समथिंग दैट टी सी इज टी बी सी प्लस टी एफ सी बट वेन माई क्वॉंटिटी इज जीरो वेन आई एम नॉट प्रोड्यूसिंग एनी थिंग सो विल आई हैव एनी वेरिएबल कॉस्ट ना वेरिएबल विल बी जीरो when my quantity is zero so at q is equal to 0 tc is equal to tfc that means that my tfc has started over my tfc must have been starting from this point so if i want to plot tfc in the same diagram it will be constant and it will start from this point right so at q equal to 0 this is my fixed cost and that itself becomes the total cost because total cost and fixed cost are equal when q is zero clear okay come to the next question beta fine acha this i want to make you understand ek bari just try to do this yourself shut down point for a firm is a situation when which of the following represents the shut down point okay now try to think about it बेटा यहां पर दे डिड नॉट मेंशन लॉन्ग रन या शॉर्ट रन है ना हमने दोनों के शटडाउन पॉइंट्स पढ़े वी स्टडीड द शटडाउन पॉइंट्स ऑफ बोथ सो वी सेड दैट इन लॉन्ग रन आई विल शट डाउन इफ आई एम नॉट एबल टू कवर एवरेज टोटल कॉस्ट एंड इन द शॉर्ट रन आई विल शट डाउन इफ आई एम नॉट एबल टू कवर एवरेज वेरिएबल कॉस्ट right beta but here they have not mentioned long run nikalna hai ya short run nikalna hai so in exam if they don't mention whether they are asking for long run or short run you will assume that it is a short run situation you will assume that it is a short run situation because long run mein firms entry or exit takes place such that firms will always earn normal profit hai na to jin firms ko loss ho raha hoga wo already ja chuke honge they they would have left the market those firms in profit after seeing those firms new firms would have entered so you will assume that in the long run firms will earn a normal profit and by normal profit we know that in the long run pi is zero implies p is equal to atc i am able to cover all my cost right so by default my uh, shutdown point should be given by this ye pehla claim uh, by this this ha huh? this is my first claim second reason why i will go with this answer let me tell you that also but in long run mein is there any fixed cost na no. If there is no fixed cost, तो सारी cost तो variable ही हो गई So if there is only variable cost, then I just want to cover all my variable cost. तो भी I get this answer, right बेटा So the correct answer to this question should be that the shutdown point is where P is equal to A B C. Clear हुई बात I want to cover all my variable cost. अच्छा Now we know. That AR and PR equal. They could answer. But what is average revenue? Average revenue is total revenue by quantity. Total revenue is price into quantity by quantity, which is P. So instead of P, I can write AR equal to ABC. So my aim is to cover my variable cost. That is my shutdown point, है ना? P equal to ABC. अगर ये less than equal to भी होता, then it would have been also correct. 
right so this is the answer to your question p equal to a b c please don't go with this one that is what is the highlight of this question ha huh? okay beta so these were all the questions from your bhu past year paper uh, i will continue discussion of such uh, bhu past year questions even in the future as we do our cuet series and uh, till then you should keep on practicing all of you remember beta kabhi kabhi na aisa sabko concept pata hota hai but sometimes we get confused that should not be the case so i am expecting that you have started studying paper is in march zyada time nahi bacha hai we have already touched october and many of you will be giving iit and gate also so it is high time that you start your preparation abhi beech mein durga puja break dashera diwali new year bahut kuch aayega so it is the time that you now pick up your books and start preparing right beta so i will meet you again tomorrow with more questions till then keep studying thank you